Hello my loves, how are you guys doing? Welcome back. My name is Amy. If you're brand new to this channel, I wanted to share with you a spring haul since it's getting warmer by the day and also I am feeling super festive. That's why I'm wearing my beautiful top from Self Portrait. I am so looking forward to the summer as well as to my Hawaii trip coming up in May and June. Some items are brand new. You have never seen it on my channel or even on my Instagram. Some of them you might have seen it on my Instagram. Some of them were actually on deep discount and that is also the reason why I wanted to bring up Shop Tiger. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you have already heard of Shop Tiger, but if you haven't, then you definitely need to stay tuned for the next few minutes because I'm gonna show you exactly how I end up saving money. Uh, there's actually a few tips that I'm gonna be sharing throughout this video. Quick disclaimer this video is sponsored by Shop Tiger. This service is completely free, so you have nothing to lose. Let's go to shoptiger.com and get that button now you have to log in so you can either create a new login i'm just gonna log in via my facebook now that i'm connected i'm just gonna go ahead and get that button add to chrome i am using the chrome web browser it works really well add extension there you have it. So let's go ahead and add an item. I mentioned on my wish list that I am eyeing the Lady Dior and I found this one on Fashion File. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this. As you can see, your Shop Tiger button is right there and it's also right here. So let's go ahead and save this. When you save a product, you can specify different criteria such as sizing, whether you want them to notify you when there's a price change and etc. So I'm going to go ahead and say any price change and I'm going to add it to one of my lists. I'm going to add it to here and then save. So now that I've added the item on my wish list, let's go back to my Shop Tiger account. As you can see, it's added the item onto my account. And if you click on my list over here on your left side, you can see the items that you have on your list. So on my wish list 2020, I have my Balenciaga sweater that I mentioned in one of my videos. I also wanted to add another color of the Acne Studio scarf and I've just added the Lady Dior from Fashion File. Let's go back to my entire list. Once they either come back in stock or if they go on sale then you'll receive a email notification or even a push notification on your mobile if you also use Shop Tiger on your phone. So I have my wish list, which I already showed you, and I also have a to buy list. So as you can see, these are items that I have already bought. Shop Tiger is a great tool to not only help you get notified when things come back in sale or come back in stock, but it's also a great tool to help you plan your shopping, create different wish lists. You'll also notice on the left side here, there's a coupon section. So any stores that have any coupons will appear here. They have integrated a lot of stores in Shop Tagger and they're adding more as we speak. But let's go to one of my favorite store, let's say Banana Republic, and let's go ahead and add one of these hats for my Hawaii trip. So when you go to check out, Shop Tagger will also let you know if they have any coupons. So they apparently found one. Let's go ahead and apply it really awesome way of saving extra money just by letting Shop Tagger apply coupons for you. So that's pretty much it guys. Don't forget to download your Shop Tagger button if you don't already have it. I'm gonna have all the links in my description box so that you can easily find it. So I bought two pairs of new shoes and they're both sandals and they're both designer sandals and I got them from Matches Fashion. I bought a couple pairs of shoes from the brand Aquazura. Comes with a dust bag. There's also a little sole protector here. I'm not sure, do you actually use these on your shoes? Cause they're like just stickers. They are not like a, like a special material or anything like that. So let me know if you actually ever use those. It says it here on the box as well, the model. And I got it in a size 37 and a half. They're super cute. They have a tiny little bit of heel. I would say it's about a centimeter high. So including the little um, shoe platform, it would be about two centimeter high but it, they're super cute. They're in patent leather in the gold color and they're from Aquasura. I love the little bow detail here. 
and they're all leather lined and leather soles in fact the sticker is already on here i think someone had already tried on these shoes before but it doesn't matter because they look brand new these shoes were pretty comfortable although normally i don't choose shoes that have this piece here where it goes in between your big toe and your second toe because it does rub a little bit but i find that it really depends on the material and how soft the material is so i have a pair of columbias that are made of um, fabric in that area and it's super comfortable this one is made of leather and it is patent leather but it's still i feel like they're still the material is still soft enough to to be comfortable and these shoes were comfortable right off the bat like i said before i don't ever buy shoes that i have to break in so the reason why i got these is because i have great clothing i have great handbags i have great accessories but shoes i don't have the best collection i have a lot of shoes but i i don't have designer shoes and it's not like i need designer shoes to look put together and to be able to style things together obviously that's not the case i just don't have anything like this and i don't want to buy any high street ones just because they just are not comfortable and they're they don't last so i end up wearing either my birkenstocks or my columbia's and those are amazing they last forever and they're super comfortable but they're not cute they don't complement the outfit like they would with these the second pair is also aquazura look how cute it is it has a little pineapple there these pineapple tissues really cute to reveal another pair of sandals these are really 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 comfortable and that's the reason why i got them uh, they look like this they have a pretty good heel height it's only 65 millimeter which is pretty much my maximum but they felt super comfortable everything from you know the the straps to the interior lining the bottom is also leather lined with the beautiful pineapple trademark and i got it in a 37 and a half actually and it fits me perfectly i guess in aquazura i'm just a 37 and a half it has this beautiful snake skin material on it i don't know if it's faux snake skin or if it's real snake skin on the box it says kenya snake so i wonder if it's real snake skin but it is beautiful the colors are so vibrant there's a bit of green the black orange and yellow and if you guys remember when I unbox my Saint Laurent Uptown pouch this clutch will match with either shoes super well how perfect of a match it is because of the gold accent so it goes well with this and then of course with these ones you have a bit of the green with this one I'm pretty sure I, I saved I think I saved 15% because at the checkout I was using shop tagger so at checkout you click on the coupon section there was a 15 percent coupon that was available at the time it was like a general code that anybody could use and i was able to save 15 percent off of this but this is not a spring item but hear me out so this is already a coat that i own in the black color this is by babaton it's a brand that is carried at aritzia because i love my black one so much i knew i wanted it in another color so i knew they had this kind of like a dark camel so kind of almost like a brown color they also had a light camel color i didn't mind either one but i was waiting because i technically don't really need it but i do like it like i like it enough that i feel like i can style both of them and just have two so that you know my next winter i'm set with coats it initially went on sale for $3.99 so it was only like a $29 saving which was not that great and Aritzia is known for having very tiny amount sales especially on their hot items so I was still waiting and of course it kind of got sold out for a while and I was like oh well it was not meant to be in mid-February I think I got a notification that it came back in stock but it was still $3.99 so I kept waiting and then I think by the end of February, I was pretty sure it was the end of February or early March, it went down to 325. And that's when I was like, that's it, I'm buying it because I'm saving over $100 and I know that it's probably not going to go much lower than this since this is a really, really popular coat from Maurizia so I just went ahead and bought it I apologize in advance for those of you who want to get it but can't because now it's too late already but the point is I did share my black one in uh, one of my haul videos back in 
you know, back in the winter. So at that point, if you guys got any of it, then congrats. But I just wanted a second one and I was just waiting for it to go on sale. I also love that the fit is slouchy because all of my coats are more fitted, like all of my Stedman coats that I love so much that I also buy from Aritzia. They're all a little bit more fitted at the shoulders, whereas this one, the shoulder part as well as basically the whole coat, it's called a slouch coat. It's a little bit more oversized, a little bit more slouchy looking, so I'm able to wear my blazers underneath which is amazing and I always get it in the size double extra small just for reference so if this coat ever comes back next year I think you guys should get on the bandwagon because I really really love it and I highly recommend it you guys might also remember these dresses from my channel so this one I bought at Luisa Viaroma and then this one I bought at uh, Matches Fashion and I bought this one later because I love the white one so much and I knew that I would probably want to wear this dress over and over so I needed it in another color but basically yeah both of these I also got on sale this one I think I just got on sale when they had um, an additional 40 or 30 percent off at Luisa Viaroma and then this one um, yeah it was already also in their sale section and there was an additional sale on top of that as well obviously shop tagger is one of the ways where you can kind of have a program watch on your behalf when they come back in stock and when they go on sale and what kind of coupons you're able to apply at checkout so that's one way of saving money another way to save extra cash on your purchases is by using a cashback program if you live in Canada there's Rakuten.ca but personally I also have an account on Rakuten.com and it really does not matter you can sign up on both so Rakuten.com is the US version and .ca is the Canadian version both of them you can link to your same PayPal account which it doesn't really matter because either way sometimes you save more on the Canadian side sometimes you save more on the US side so you just have to compare and use whichever way you save the most so a lot of times for example on mattress fashion you end up saving an additional 3.5 percent and sometimes they have a promotional saving which is Sometimes it goes up to like 7% or even during like Black Friday, it goes up to like 10 or 15%. So it's an additional savings on top of what you're already saving. My third way of saving extra money is to use a credit card that provides you either with points in terms of rewards or cash back. And my favorite is the cash back way. So more cash back means more money saved. So my credit card is the Rogers credit card. I think I have the highest tier one, but I'm pretty sure like I think my friend has the BMO one and that one has a 2% cash back. My one is 1.75% cash back, which is really good considering that every $100 you're saving an additional $1.75, that's enough to buy you a cup of coffee, right? So if you think about it, like especially when you make larger purchases like Chanel purchases, LV purchases, um, or your daily expenses, it doesn't have to be luxury purchases. I use my credit card almost on anything. My fourth way of saving money is by signing up to newsletters. I've already mentioned that in the past, but I'll reiterate. Whichever site are your favorite shopping sites, make sure you sign up for their newsletters. And if you can, shop at the same places often. Because I'm in Canada, I really like Matches Fashion, I really like Luisa Viaroma. Uh, Essence because it's Canadian. I also like Farfetch. Those four, when you go through the checkout, they already calculated the duties and the taxes. So you won't be surprised when you get the delivery package. You won't be surprised by extra costs because it's already all in the cost of what you're paying when you check out, which I love. Um, I also shopped at my Teresa and Netta Porte once in a while but I don't prefer those two only because they don't already include duties and taxes so when you get the delivery package you will also receive an additional bill to pay for the duties and the taxes and that's a little bit more complicated because if you do return the item then you have to apply through the courier to get your taxes back which is not ideal so for my Teresa and Neta Porte, I only buy from there when I'm sure that I want the item. Personally, I sign up to Mattress Fashion and Luisa Villaroma newsletters because those are the two that I shop at the most often. 
and because I shop there more often I also get their rewards so I often get like birthday vouchers I get special discounts once in a while they'll like send you an additional 20% or 15% discount uh, on your birthday they send you an additional bonus or like a little voucher for you to use on anything and then also you get early access to their yearly sales which is amazing so that's one of the best ways to save money because you're already shopping at those places it's already one of your favorite places to shop so why not take more advantage of it my fifth tip which is not as obvious and i don't know if i've mentioned that before is to buy past season items and i do that all the time for instance the coat that i showed you earlier i bought it in march but it's it's already like the end of the season in march right especially in vancouver it gets pretty warm already um so it's already off season but then you end up saving a lot of money same with the self-portrait dresses i believe those were from the spring summer collection of last year but i bought them in the winter so the style is still current it's just that they're from the spring summer collection and because i bought it in the winter it was in the sales section and because they also had their um, like additional percentage off on top of sales that's how I was able to save even more money these ones as well they were from they were probably from spring summer of last year but because I got them much later they were considered uh, you know past season so I was able to get them sale on sale so these were amazing deal the dresses were a pretty good deal as well the coat I saved over a hundred dollars my very last tip which is also it's obvious but not super obvious i guess to everybody if you follow the trends or if you watch your favorite influencers then you'll know which items are really really hot and that tends to get sold out all the time such as the YSL clutch this is a really really hot item every time any of these come in stock they sell out really really quickly so items like this um obviously chanel bags i suggest that you buy them right away the moment they are in stock or if you happen to be there and you see one and you love it just buy it because the worst case scenario is that you don't buy it right away it gets sold out then you either have to wait for it to come back in stock or you have to find a personal shopper or consignment store to get it with consignment it's a whole other game as well it's usually a used item so you have to either authenticate it and there's usually also uh, if it's a hot item they usually also do a markup on it so you're paying for these you're paying for their services you're also paying for the fact that they're hot items hard to get items and so you end up paying a little bit more so for hot hot items get it right away do not wait and for things that are not super hot but you love it and there's enough to go around wait a little bit to get the discount of course i'll have everything linked down below shop tagger as well as all the items that i have shown you in this video i will also link it down below in case you're interested including whatever i'm wearing the top is from self-portrait again uh, i always get asked i always get a size 8 uk8 in self-portrait they tend to run really small and i find that uk8 is usually um, pretty consistent for me sometimes they can be a bit too big but then when that happens I just size down so uh, usually I just stick with UK 8 and that usually works out like 90% of the time so I'll link everything down below um, I'm not sure if I can link these earrings because these earrings obviously they're from Chanel and Chanel doesn't sell anything online but if I can uh, find any pre-loved ones i'll link it down below if you're brand new to my channel i would really love to have you back so please do not forget to subscribe like and comment down below likes really help us out in this new age of youtube algorithm it keeps changing thank you so much for watching i hope that you guys have a great day or week ahead of you and i will talk to you again very soon bye